Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Nasty Addiction Garage. So, what we did in the last episode was take shipment of um, George's 3S GTE 5th Gen. Um, so, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to start breaking this thing down. We're going to start looking a little deeper into this motor to see how healthy the motor was. Ideally, it says here that there was 108 kilometers on this motor when it was pulled or whatever this refresh sticker was placed. So, we're going to see if that we can prove that that's what it is. But uh, regardless, we're going to start uh, removing things and replacing all the seals and belts and stuff like that. So, But before we do all that, we do have to jump into this and start removing things because we are not going to be using everything on here. So, guys, let's jump into today's episode and let's go. Hey everybody, where we last left off, um, I was able to uh, mount George's 5th Gen 3S GTE to the engine stand. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to put you on a nice little timeline, timeline, time lapse, and uh, let you guys see what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be removing quite a few different things, but it's to get to the valve cover. I want to look under the valve cover. We still have to remove the valve cover. There's a ton of stuff here that I'm not going to be using. So I want to get into it, guys, and let's jump into this. Uh, build and and let's do it head first guys. So let's go everybody thanks to uh, editing and movie magic we got a lot of stuff done here as you guys can see we removed a whole bunch of stuff I removed the intercooler we removed the alternator the alternator belt alternator bracket um, miscellaneous little brackets there that held down to the catalytic um, we have the AC compressor AC compressor bracket uh, all were removed I got all the belts and bolts all in one spot just because I just want to keep everything together I want to give this all back to George if he wants it um, just so then he has uh, proof that everything was removed and this is off his motor um, but guys check it out we're we're doing pretty good as far as timing goes um, we have a lot of good stuff that we removed we removed the uh, the heat shield which I got over here um, I'm gonna take this to get powder coated that's gonna be on the house uh, we're going to get it to match the same color as the uh, valve cover. So, guys, next step is we're going to remove this bad boy right here. Um, and then I'm going to start removing all the covers here. So we're going to remove this cover. We're going to remove that cover. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove this power steering as well. Um, I'm going to save the uh, bolts, though, because this is where the, alternators is, the alternator is going to live. So I'm going to go ahead and start that, guys. I'm going to put you guys back on the camera stand uh, to do a time lapse for this just because I, this is uh, something that I've done already. So if you guys did want to go check this out, you guys can check this out um, on my YouTube channel. Um, I looked down for the 90, I believe it was the 91 or 92 uh, fifth gen that I did recently a few years back. All this is in more detail, guys, so I don't want to spend too much time explaining uh, what I'm going to be doing or what's going on. Um, you guys can kind of just sit back and enjoy the time lapse. Uh, let's go. George, check it out. No shaft play, dude. Like, this is like legit. This is like no shaft play at all. And look at it, free spinning. It's perfect, dude. This is actually really nice. 
Um, same thing goes for this end. I'm gonna turn on the flash so you can kind of see. Uh, it's a little dirty, which I'm, I, it's expected to, to have, but dude, there's like no shaft plate at all. I'm trying to show you, but there's like no shaft plate and you could just literally, I mean, it spins perfectly without any effort. Everything looks pretty good in there. Let me see, as you can see, there's no oil leaks or anything like that. So that's actually really good. Um, this motor is coming out phenomenal. I just wanted to give you a real quick heads up to see, to show you where we're at so far. Um, I mean, check this out, man. There's a lot of stuff that I removed so far. So, so far so good, my dude. Next on the agenda is start to remove these um, actual plastics so then we can get to the timing belt and the water pump and all that stuff. But first we gotta go ahead and remove the power steering pump. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. We got a couple bolts to remove. So I'm gonna go ahead, put you guys again on another time lapse. I'm gonna put you guys on the camera stand so you guys can watch this and let's get this done. Guys, we did remove uh, the power steering pump, power steering belt, power steering bracket, and all uh, accessory bolts to it. Um, as you guys can see, it's nice and clean back here now. Uh, I did save those bolts because the alternator will be back here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead now and remove all the uh, timing cover plastics and the lower timing cover plastic as well. Uh, we're going to try to keep those to the side just because they all look pretty intact. So we're going to hope to keep them intact. I am going to refinish them because all this stuff, we're going to make it look good. Um, but uh, we're going to go ahead and remove those right now. Um, and let's go from there. Kind of where we're at we did unplug everything up here we did remove the little uh like um i guess evap canister uh, we did remove all this stuff just because we're gonna get the valve covers off eventually so um i still have to power wash this motor so we are not anywhere near close to this because there is a lot of gunk and junk um, around here so we're gonna go ahead and power wash this motor at some point but uh, right now I think this is gonna conclude today's episode I did want to uh, remove the uh, top part of the timing cover because I did want to check out the chain or the the belt and check what I just found look at that and apparently it was a hundred and eight kilometers so I don't know. I, I mean, is it true? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, maybe this is in the process. I don't know, but um, this is removed and I, I just wanted to see if this had uh, any nicks or anything like this. So what I'm going to do um, off camera is go ahead and reattach the um, upper valve cover or upper timing belt cover um, just so that when I power wash this motor, um, not, no water or anything gets where it doesn't need to be. Um, I really want to make sure that everything stays nice and clean. Um, I am power washing the hell out of this though, decreasing it and uh, doing this, I mean, nice, nice. This is going to be fresh. So um, this is going to conclude today's episode, guys. Like we have done a lot here. As you can see, we removed all this stuff here. Uh, we removed the intercooler. We removed the alternator, alternator bracket, alternator belt. We removed the AC uh, or no, the, the <clears throat> power steering, power steering belt, power steering bracket, AC condenser or compressor, um, AC compressor bracket, excuse me, um, and AC belt, we removed the catalytic converter and intercooler. 
uh, if I already said that, along with various little miscellaneous things. But this motor is coming out fairly well, guys. So, so far, so good. Um, I do want to add that this, this um, turbo doesn't have any shaft plate and just spins freely. This is really, really good. This motor so far looks good, but I'm really, really curious to see what's under that valve cover. So guys, to do that, you guys got to stay tuned. Um, this is going to be the, the, the closer to this episode. So remember, like, share, subscribe. Uh, George, this motor is coming out pretty badass so far. So uh, again, like, share, subscribe. Make sure you guys check out my merch store. Um, please, if you guys have a comment, please comment it down below. If you guys have anything you guys want to mention or say, uh, shoot me down a comment down below, guys. I will uh, definitely respond. So, all right, guys, I think this is going to be it. Take care of yourselves and each other. Peace.